Hi everyone, this is Ankus here, and today I'm going to give you a full review and unboxing of the home base Freya folding sofa bed. Starting with the setup process, the unboxing was really easy and it didn't take me long at all to set it up. When I moved into my new flat in Shipley last year, I was researching furniture and I wanted to get a sofa bed that was around two, three hundred pounds. I was quite surprised that even the budget friendly companies like Ikea were selling sofa beds for 500 to 1000 pounds. So when I found this one, which cost 250 pounds from home base, I was really interested in it. And I've been using this for a couple of months. So I just wanted to share my opinion of how I found it. So when I'm choosing a sofa, there's two main things that I want to really think about. The first one is the design and the second one is comfort. So that's what I'm going to be looking at in this review. Starting with the design, this sofa bed is available in five colors and I decided to go for gray because it matches other furniture in my flat. I really like the design. I live on my own and also the design is quite compact so it doesn't take up much room in my flat. It's also quite lightweight so it's really easy to move around and it takes literally seconds to unfold this and turn it into a sofa bed. The only negative thing I have to say about the design is that the back looks a little bit crap. Mine is black and I wish it could have been the same colour as my sofa. But apart from that, I like the design, so I'm going to give it four out of five. Now let's move on to the comforts. If you look at the reviews of this sofa bed on the Homebase website, it's not good. I have to admit, after owning this sofa for a couple of months, it's not the kind of sofa that you would want to curl up and watch a film on or read a book. I've actually found that because it's uncomfortable to sit on, if I want to watch a long film, I'll go sit on my bed. I think there's two reasons why it's awkward to sit on. The first one is the design. Because it's such a small sofa, you just don't really have much to sit back on. And also you don't have side rests. So I think this sofa isn't gonna be great for tall people. 95% of the time, I'm only sitting on this sofa in the mornings when I'm just getting ready or having breakfast. It kind of does what I need it to do, but when I want to relax in the evenings, it could be better. I've just found that when this sofa is really tested for comfort and sitting on it for long hours, it struggles to perform. And that's both sitting on it as a sofa and sleeping on it as a sofa bed. I have had guests come over and they've complained that it is uncomfortable. I did try this out myself and I found that because there's soft patches and hard patches, it's just awkward to sleep on. But I found the way to get around this issue is to have a mattress topper. I just bought a 30 pound mattress topper off Amazon and this resolved the issue. I think in terms of comfort, this sofa has a lot of areas to improve on. So I'm going to give it two out of five. This sofa bed is one of the cheapest you can buy. So I think it's important to consider where it sits in the market. No pun intended. So even though I bought the sofa for 250 pounds, I've noticed on the home base website that it's been selling for around 210 and it's been on sale for quite some time. So I'm starting to think that maybe the sales are struggling. As a sofa, it's fine to sit on for a short amount of time. As a sofa bed, it's quite comfortable if you have a mattress topper. This sofa bed does what it needs to do. So I'm going to give it four out of five. If you're one of those people that wants to sit on a sofa for several hours, a day, then this just simply isn't the sofa for you. But if you're only going to sit on it for a short amount of time, then it's going to be fine. So I hope this review was helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching.